So to edit your artwork like a professional, you need to take a photo of your artwork like a professional. And that is going to include putting it up on a wall. Uh, there's several ways you can do this. I like to use removable putty, that sticky tack, break it up into four small pieces and just throw it right up in the corners. This is going to help us stay more parallel to the artwork, which is going to make our photo look a lot, lot better. So once you put it up on the wall, try to have it be a little bit lower. That's gonna help you out quite a bit. And you're gonna wanna hold your uh, camera closer to your chest. What we're doing here is we're trying to steady our hands. So take a deep breath in. Click, then breathe out. It'll really make it a lot steadier. Now you can see from this angle, tapping on it will help focus it a little bit. Try to keep it as straight as possible and take as many pictures as you need. Now you say you don't have any walls. Taking a picture on a table is fine. Just make sure your head isn't blocking the light and you're pretty level. When you're done, email that to yourself and we can move on to the next step. Photop.com. All right, so today we are going to be editing our artwork. Uh, we used to use a program called Pixlr, but I've become a really fan of this program recently called Photop. Uh, it seems that we could just do a lot more with this. It's a lot more akin to Photoshop, but it's free, so love you, love to see it. Let's get down to how to do this. So first off, you want to go to File, and you want to hit New, and then you're going to look at all the beautiful things that they're giving you. Don't worry about those. Those don't matter. So name this project. So it might just be, my name is Darnell. So Darnell. You want to switch that over to inches. And then you want to change your size to, generally speaking here, we're working on an eight to 10, uh, three to four ratio. So just make this either eight ugh, to 10, see how it corrects itself, so eight, 10. And then for most things, we'll publish this online. It's not really going to matter. Put about 200 DPI. And don't worry about what that actually means. It doesn't, it's not going to, it's not going to, it's not going to change your life, you know. Then you hit create. And you're given this absolutely wonderful thing. What you're going to be doing here, there is a ton of options for you to use. It is an overwhelming amount. So we are going to just cover the ones that you need to edit your artwork that is already beautiful and wonderful and upload it online. Um, a few things that we're gonna do to make this easier is streamline that a little bit. So we're gonna go to File again, and then you're gonna go to Open in Place. And Open in Place, get your image that you downloaded from your email, because you emailed it to yourself, and upload it. You can't just airdrop this to yourself. It is going to create a file called the HEIC that is not a readable file for most programs in the world. So thanks, Apple. Go ahead and upload. And there you are, just hanging out. So one thing that you need to make sure to do is you can accidentally stretch this pretty easily. You can hold shift whenever you do that. Um, but it's, it's kind of difficult, all right? So when you're clicking, you wanna get this anchor down here and you wanna just try to pull at the same ratio that the artwork is in. And then you're going to just kinda, there you go. So we fit it basically as best as we can. Uh, go ahead and hit enter and that will place the object. Now, there's still some more editing we need to do. Uh, we're not done yet on this part because you can see how this sticks out. We want that gone. So we're going to go to edit. And then we're going to go to transform. But this time we're going to hit something called warp. So we scroll down here. To get rid of this, we're actually going to stretch the canvas. See that? Yeah, just right there. Just pulling it enough so that way it's even. I could have really like messed this one up now that I think about it and shown you like how to drastically fix it, but you'll be fine. And the top looks pretty good. It looks like it's still pretty centered. So like a little bit and go ahead and hit, hit enter. Now let's actually uh, start editing the image itself. The first thing you need to do is you need to go over here where and this is your layers. 
tool so it shows the different layers we can add a bunch of layers we can overlay there's a whole bunch of stuff we'll might get into in the future but when it comes to just editing our image we're going to go to this so it says image one two three six yours will say something different give it a right click and you want to rasterize it now what does that mean i don't know but it does make it so you can do stuff to this so after you got it rasterized go to image up here in the upper left then you're going to go to adjustments and you're going to go to levels. Go ahead and click this and pull it uh, over here. Uh, for the most part, this is all you're ever going to need to edit your artwork because you already did like an absolute banger of a job on it that it already looks really good. We're just trying to make it look as good as it does in person. So we're not really trying to change too much. So these three squares are called anchors. And we're gonna be pulling those until we think this looks a little bit more like it does in real life. Uh, you'll see what they do pretty instantly. Like if I take this and I go, Wah. too dark, go this way, too ghost. So we need to find that happy medium that's gonna make it look more like it did in person. So that means punching up the whites a little bit more and the darks recede. We can click this preview button over here and it'll really help us out. So that's what it looks like beforehand. This is what it looks like now. I think it looks pretty apt to what it looks like in person now. So you can go ahead, okay. Ultimately, that's really all we need to do. So go to the file, and then we're gonna go to export as, and you wanna export it as a JPEG. You want it to zoom out a little bit out of your face, thank you. Max that up to 100% quality, because we want only the best. Hit save. All right, so we can see our original picture over here, and now we can see this one. So um, now you might say, hey, I don't really have a uh, laptop. And I'm like, well, this works just as well on your phone or your uh, iPad, whatever. So you're going to just go to photop.com, and basically everything is going to work the exact same way, except for the icons are a lot smaller now. That's really it. Um, so you're still going to make a new file. You're going to label it the same way. You're going to open as or open in and import your photo directly into it. It's all going to work the same. It's just a little bit, maybe a little bit slower, you know, because there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of beef inside of this, you know, like there, 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 your, your, your phone's only so fast. Um, but it's all the same idea. You can still distort. You can still autocorrect the colors. You can do everything that you need to do. So it's really nice about this. Uh, one thing I might want to uh, advise you on, though, I'm sure you can uh, see it from time to time. I wanted to I wanted to show this specifically from this angle so you can see what the hand mo movements do. Um, but just ignore the fact that every now and then you can see right up my nose on the screen just pretend it's not there thank you but yeah same thing here we got the uh we got the anchors and do a little slide slide uh it's kind of amazing that a program this powerful can work on your phone the same way it can work on a laptop so this is the very tip, tip, tip of the iceberg when it comes to Photo P. There is a lot of editing options that you can start exploring. This is the bare minimum of just making your artwork look professional enough to turn in. All right. Um, play around with the filters, play around with the other ways of editing. You'll be very surprised with what you can actually do. Like things this powerful didn't used to exist even six months ago. So it's really nice how things have been happening. Well, anyway, see you.